Hi guys, Brad Heath here with Double D Trailers. Uh, hey, our um, one of our staff writers just posted this really cool article on our blog about Z-Frame and a safer alternative or a safer option than aluminum uh, when it comes to manufacturing horse trailers. So let's just dive right in on that. You know, when I started manufacturing trailers back in 1997, we used a steel frame and a galvanized skin exterior because the sheets were typically where an all steel trailer would rust out. And that paid dividends very well. In fact, we, there's a tremendous amount of those trailers still on the road you know, today, uh, 23, 24 years later. So uh, very durable in construction. Eventually, there were parts and components on that trailer that, uh, that tend to rust over time. And so we wanted to find something that was lightweight, didn't rust, um, and would work well. We jumped on the aluminum bandwagon, sort of like every other manufacturer in the U.S., thinking, well, that's what everybody's using. It must be the best thing. And when I started building these, I quickly recognized, hmm, there's some things about aluminum and its properties that really make it not a good choice for a horse trailer. It was just common sense to me. Um, we, you know, we're just, we're just country folk in North Carolina and that's the way we look at things. This is a trailer that I built. Uh, this is the hinge, the back door right here. And this part is the main structural upright. So this would be the right hand side of the trailer up at the roof line. That's the curved part, part of the roof. And you can see where the guys welded it together and the thing broke right in the weld. You know, aluminum is a malleable material, easy to bend. Uh, think of a tin can and in order to get it uh, strong enough so that it will hold you have to make it thick well when it's made thick then it becomes very brittle and it will not withstand you know the flexing involved um, on a long horse trailer so that was one of the problems that we found the other thing was the the heat transfer property um, even my welding guys would comment how hot the tubes would get much easily much easier than what they were accustomed to so we started doing some temperature tests i actually uh, did a video on our site and maybe we've got a link to that in here where we walked inside of an aluminum trailer with this mill finish roof did a temperature check with a thermometer. I think it got to 135, 138 degrees uh, on the video. And then we kept the camera rolling, went directly into one of our trailers with a safe bump. And uh, you could just watch the thermometer fall. I think it was 20 or 25 degrees different. So uh, it certainly uh, is a wonderful conductor of heat. Great for solar panels and cookware, not so much for the roof of a horse trailer. Same thing with an, with an aluminum floor. And a lot of folks want aluminum today thinking, you know, it's going to last forever. I don't have to do anything to it. It looks great. But it actually transfers more heat, more noise, and more vibration back to horses' feet and legs than any other material that I've found available. This is a trailer that I traded for. It was about five years old, not one that we built. It had an aluminum floor. When I pulled the mats back, you could see the holes in the floor. So it had already pitted. I could see the ground underneath, and that was a very expensive, uh, expensive repair job. Now that doesn't mean if you have a trailer with an aluminum floor, your horses are going to fall through. But it does mean if you don't pull the mats out and hose it, allow it to dry, keep the the urine off and the oxidation, you're going to end up with the same problem here. So they do require a bit more maintenance, and even even with the maintenance, you're not going to get rid of uh, the vibration as much nor the heat transfer so with, with those properties i had a client uh one more thought reached out to me i think a couple weeks ago uh, she has a trailer on order with us now and she has she currently has a trailer a well known brand in aluminum and she said her horse she hauls very, really large warm bloods 15 1600 pound and her 17.3 warm blood uh, either fell down or spooked, I'm not sure. Nonetheless, the partition inside the trailer didn't hold. Uh, the horse was actually able to break through that partition because the welds broke and it was an aluminum divider. And that's something, guys, that we've been preaching for years is it simply does not hold up in a high stress situation, AKA uh, spooked, panicky, you know, 1500 pound horse. Even the guys at Ford, 
uh, when they first came out with this. Now this was back in 2015. They did a tremendous amount of marketing, you know, um, just bragging about the new Ford with the aluminum chassis. No one has that. It's lighter weight. All of these things. And when they did the crash test on it, uh, it was uh, one of the worst performances. It says it was given the second worst rating after observers saw how it performed. And so they had to go back to the uh, the drawing board significantly, you know, make some some huge changes to that in order to make it work. I think they were just too far into their marketing to to switch gears and decide to scrap the project. So, you know, the idea is to look for something in a, a material that we can safely surround your horse with, sort of like a a steel cage uh, or you know the bracing in the cab of your automobile if you're. Uh, vehicle flips. You want something surrounding you that will protect you. And Z-frame is the material that we use. Now Z simply stands for zinc. Uh, it's not rocket science and we don't make Z-frame. I own the term and the the trademark for Z-frame. That's just how we market it. But it's a material that's readily available used in many industries, uh, metal buildings, things like that. This is one of the suppliers, so if you're interested in some specs and kind of the technical, nerdy, geeky stuff, uh, it's SunocoTube.com, and they market it as Gator Shield. And they do have uh, one, let's see, under resources, right there, technical library, particularly the flow coat process. This tells exactly how it's made, and a lot of folks tend to think Oh, it's just a piece of steel with some galvanized on it, and when you scrape the coating off, it's going to rust. That's what I thought, but that is 100% incorrect. So I'm not going to take the time to go through this today, but bottom line is, is uh, it's actually stronger than steel, which allows us to use a lighter weight material. So a, a 14 gauge piece of steel would be equivalent to a 16 gauge piece uh, of Z-frame strength wise, much stronger than aluminum and it doesn't rust. So it, it just ends up being uh, a wonderful material to manufacture horse trailers with. <clears throat> and then for the roof, we wanna use something that is not baking the horse. So something that's insulated. Our current roof style uh, we've been using since 2012. It's a one-piece fiber composite. It's basically fiberglass. Fiberglass is one of the best insulators uh, available. Your home is probably insulated with you know, fiberglass. So uh, it works great for the roof of the horse trailer. It's forgiving. There's no seams in it, nothing to caulk or that you have to worry about rusting or leaking long term so just a, a really cool roof and then the floor <clears throat> you know we want to get around um, what to do about the oxidation our standard floor is a two by eight pressure treated pine with a rubber mat on top when I started excuse me started building trailers back in 1997 we used wood floors with rubber mats and so far today uh, it is 2021 right now. I've yet to change a board on any trailer that I've ever manufactured. So uh, needless to say, we're quite confident that wood floors will perform uh, well over the years. But the majority of what we sell or that our clients order is a material called rumber. Again, I don't make rumber any Horse trailer manufacturer in the United States can go to rumber.com and purchase from these guys. But here's a cool video that really explains what rumber is and how it how it works. Um, so yeah, you know the idea is to just create a cage that's really strong, lightweight, doesn't rust, a roofing system that's safe for the horse, interior dividers that are not going to break, a floor that's going to be safe for the horse, uh, easy to maintain, not having to worry about oxidation. And you know, the combination of materials that we use to accomplish that uh, seems to work very well. Now, cool things in these articles, I won't keep you much longer. What has changed in trailer construction? The worst materials and why? Uh, what about steel? The latest and most modern trailer building technology? What is Z-frame? And uh, what do customers say? So I do encourage you to take the time to read through this. Um, I think you will enjoy the read and any questions you have just uh, visit our website doubledtrailers.com or feel free to uh, reach out online. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.